Hey guys, welcome to Tri Bro Fishing. Today I'm going to be reviewing the ODM surf rods that I've been using this last couple of years. These are models that I personally own and I'm going to let you know how I feel about them. The first model is a 7.6 Back Bay Edition. Second one is the 10 foot ODM DNA rod. Third one is the 11 foot Genesis. My last one is the 9 foot Evolution Custom Rod. Let's get to it. View the uh, ODM DNA rod first. This is the Back Bay Edition. It's a 7.6. It's rated for 3 8 to 1.5 ounce. So this would be able to throw like a SP minnow at largest and go all the way down to like a half ounce jig head or something like that. So uh, the action is um, it's a medium action, medium fast action on the top. It's able to cast the uh, big swim baits like this. This is a five inch shad right here. And I got paired up with my uh, Saltis Back Bay 3000 LT. And it's actually a very good combo. I also paired this up with um, my VR50 sometimes. Those are also very good. I also been throwing some baits with this, like a high low rig with two ounce sinkers handles it very well you see me using uh catching freshwater stripers with blood worms this is the rod i use feels very good in your hand uh it has a nice long back so you can stick it between your legs if you're plugging it's handling the soft plastics perfectly. You could feel it on the tip from the paddle. Cash is pretty far. Um, all right, let's move on to the next rod. So guys, uh, this run, this rod right here started it all for me for surf fishing. This ODM DNA line has a uh, carbon nano technology in it tangle free alkaline guidelines also has a Fuji real seat a nice back for surf fishing put it between your legs it's a 60 40 split it's a two piece and also it comes with the custom spiral grip it's very nice for surf fishing and let's see what we could pair it up with I think we should pair it up with a size 6000 reel which I have the Saragossa or the BGMQ. I'm going to use the BGMQ. It's been really good to me, nice and smooth reel. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, um, I'm pairing it up with my BGMQ 6000. A good reel combo for a 10 foot rod would be a 6000. If it's a very nice light. 10 foot rod i'll go maybe the lowest of 5000 but uh, a 6000 would be a right fit after that if you go with an 8000 it's just too big unless you're in the cape cod canal you need something really strong um those are different cases but over here in jersey you know or the long island surf a 6000 would be like the biggest i'll go but um Let's see how this cast. This model surf rod would be a great entry rod for any surf fisherman or getting really serious on the surf, on the beach. This will take take all the beating. Uh, you still gotta take care of your rods. This rod would handle most fish here in the East Coast. It has a sensitive tip. All right guys, let's get to the next model, the Genesis. This model right here is the Genesis model. This model is made out of modulus graphite it's a very strong rod. I like to use this when there's big fish, big blues. Um, I won't go fluking with this or something like that, guys. Um, I'll use a different model like the 
the back bay of this shit or a lighter eight foot nine foot rod something like that but i if i know there's bigger fish out there this is what i'll use i even use this as like a walking stick when i'm in the jetties or something like that rod is strong uh it has tango free acrylate guides on it see right here it has some silver some blue wrapping around it the threads are you can see the threads it's very beautiful rod it's black wrap black guides nice fuji reel seat a nice smooth butt in the back like this put it in your between your legs stuff like this so guys i'm just gonna use a sp minnow it's a very popular lure cast far if you want more distance in the jetties and the on the surf you know I'll go with 11 you know I normally don't use this but uh, this long of a rod because I I normally go with a 9 foot rod or 10 foot rod at the most but uh, like I said I only use this when there's like some big ass fish out there so this would throw plugs no problem it's a very good rod to throw some bigger swim baits out there Bigger plugs, poppers. Give it a couple of more casts. It's a very long rod. It could be overkill sometimes. So this is the last model that I'm going to be talking about. This is the Evolution 9 foot rod. You have to buy this blank and have your custom rod builder uh, build a rod for you. Normally uh, it takes about two to three weeks to have it done. How I have my Evo made was uh, I got black wrap with black alkaline tango free guides and I got the EVA wrap, spiral wrap throughout and got the ball, EVA ball at the bottom and the Fuji uh, real C. Uh, nothing too fancy. I also have a custom striper on there, you know, I'm, I'm the striper assassin. so. It's a very good rod, it's very versatile. I use this for almost any kind of fishing. Uh, it can handle a lot of fish to blackfish all the way to albi fishing. Uh, very versatile, like I said, very light. Something like this, I'll normally match it with uh, what I own is a Daiwa Sir Tape 5000 LT. Very nice combo, or I'll even match it up with my VR50. Or VS 150 if I'm in the surf or something like that. It feels great in between your legs like this. No problem, carry this all day. Um, casting, it's not a problem. I'm only paired out with my VS 150. And let's try it out. I'll show you how it casts. The SP Minnow. tell you is uh it's rated for half ounce to four ounce lure so it'll handle anything you throw out there for it so. this model just casts just as far as my 10 foot not as far as my 11 foot but um this will do fine at the jetty or the surf is handling this SP minnow beautifully. You could feel everything that's moving on the tip. Look at that. Woo! Woo. 
very nice. This is a really killer combo for the surf. If you want a high-end models, a high-end combo, don't look further. Don't look further than this. This is a size comparison between these two. Uh, the VR50 could be a little too small for the 9 foot one. But the VS150 is actually a great size. It's a little bigger than my Certe LT5000 heavier I have a ballistic 5000 LT uh, also a little smaller than that this uh, if you're not gonna get the VS uh, or any vest all I'll go with uh, maybe a 4000 or 5000 Daiwa or Shimano something like that to match up with the evolution 9 foot rod edition so guys thanks for watching my review of my ODM surf rods. As soon as I get some more models, I'll do a review on them. Thanks for watching.